a very warm welcome to bio shorts one step destination for high quality video lectures on topics of biology environment and ecology nutritional science covering the syllabus of all competitive exams as well as university courses i am neela mishra join me here for an insightful video on basics of biomass the intent of the video is to understand the term biomass and how the biomass is formed what are the benefits of using biomass as an energy source and how energy plantation can help ensure the sustainability of bioenergy let's get started the use of renewable energy sources is becoming increasingly necessary if we are to achieve the changes required to address impacts of global warming and climate change biomass energy or simply bioenergy is one of the most common form of renewable energy it is one of the oldest forms of non fossil energy widely used in the developing countries it all started when humans learned how to control fire to provide heat from the biomass materials traditional bioenergy such as fuel wood charcoal animal dung cakes are used for cooking heating lighting etc still today often with low efficiency and dominate bioenergy consumption in india bioenergy is an inexhaustible energy source made available from materials derived from biological sources collectively called biomass so now let's understand the meaning of this word biomass biomass is the term used for all organic materials produced primarily by green plants including all land and water based vegetation biomass includes dedicated energy crops and trees agricultural food and feed crops agricultural crop waste wood waste aquatic plants animal waste municipal waste and other biodegradable industrial waste as i mentioned in the beginning biomass has always been a major source of energy for mankind and is presently estimated to contribute 20 to 30% of the world's energy supply lately much attention has been focused on identifying suitable biomass species which can provide high energy inputs to replace conventional fossil fuel energy sources the value of a particular biomass depends on the chemical and physical properties of the large molecules from which it is made up of so the next question is how does the biomass form in plants the answer to this question is through the process of photosynthesis the key mechanism by which biomass is produced in all chlorophyll containing species in which plants carry out the reaction between carbon dioxide and water and use energy from the sunlight to convert these substances into plant biomass in other words we can say biomass is a solar energy store which is continually replenished by the flow of energy from the sun through photosynthesis different plants employ different methods for utilizing carbon dioxide 
and water called carbon dioxide fixation pathways allowing plant growth under a wide range of conditions the way in which each type of plant grows and develops affects its productivity and its potential yield for example c4 plants which are grown mostly in tropical regions such as grasses and the cereal plants are photosynthetically more efficient and productive compared to the c3 plants which are grown in temperate areas in the past 10 to 15 years there has been a renewed interest worldwide in biomass as a sustainable energy source there are several reasons for this situation firstly the technological developments relating to conversion of biomass into bioenergy availability of industrial and municipal waste as biomass feedstock etc which all promises the application of biomass at lower cost and with higher conversion efficiency the second main stimulus is the agricultural sector which is producing food surpluses alternative non food crops or non edible crops as biomass feedstock along with improvements in both agricultural techniques and plant breeding thirdly biomass is carbon neutral energy source as a natural part of photosynthesis biomass fuels release the same amount of carbon into the atmosphere as was absorbed by plants in the course of their life cycle in addition the use of biomass reduces the over dependence on fossil fuels and concomitantly adds a revenue source for farmers and manufacturers the important question at this point is can biomass be produced in a truly sustainable manner as well as being renewable the industry and policy makers need to clarify this issue as it leads to a number of frequently asked questions will the use of land for energy cropping reduce the area of land now used for food and fiber production will genetically engineered trees and crops need to be developed specifically for biomass feedstock will biodiversity be further depleted by continuously removing large quantities of biomass materials will soil nutrients and waters be depleted and so on there are so many questions ministry of environment and forest along with ministry of new and renewable energy have proposed a solution solution is the energy plantation which can supply good quality and cons- consistent biomass feedstock to the bioenergy facilities so what do we mean by energy plantation energy plantation is the practice of planting selected species of trees and shrubs through social forestry silviculture agro horticulture which are harvestable in a comparably short time and are specifically meant for fuel purposes it includes growing of herbaceous energy crops which are rich in carbohydrates and oils like sugarcane sugar beet maize jatropha palm oil rapeseed oil etc or the petro plants which accumulate photosynthetic products 
in the form of carbohydrocarbons such as latex energy plantation ensures environmental social and economic sustainability in the rural regions of india overcoming energy poverty is an important precondition for tackling poverty in general energy plantation can be an important bridging instrument to guarantee the livelihoods and well-being of the rural community and a viable path to mitigate climate change it can also contribute to reduce soil erosion and burden on our forest which serve as the bulk source of biomass so with this i wind up this video lecture we will discuss more about biomass classification types of bioenergy biomass convergent technologies in the upcoming videos to check your progress on the content you may visit my website neelampmishra.wordpress.com for multiple choice questions keep watching bio shorts thank you thank you for your attention